In this example, we're going to be factorising this determinant here. Okay, So this is going to be an example of just seeing how far you can actually get. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, rows 2 and row 3 to row 1. Now, the reason why I would do that is because you've got x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. So when you add rows 2 and rows 3 to row 1, then you're going to get an x plus y plus z in the top row for each of those elements. Then I can factor that out. Okay? So if I do that, I'm going to get x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z. Okay, in my top row. And I've still got y, z, x, z, x, y. Okay. Now, as I said, I can factor out the x plus y plus z. So x plus y plus z comes outside, and I'll have 1, 1, 1 in the top row now. y, z, x, z, x, y. Okay, so the next thing I'd probably want to do is, because I've got these 1s here, if I subtract row, uh, sorry, column 1 from each of these, I can get zeros uh, in those two elements there. So, I've got the x plus y plus z out the front. And I'm going to do uh, the old column 2. So this column 2, take away column 1. So column 1 is going to stay the same, 1yz. And I'm going to get 1 take away 1, which is 0. z take away y. And x take away z. And I'm also going to do... Column 3, take away column 1. So I've got 1 take away 1, which is 0. X take away Y. And Y take away Z. Now, in the, in the stage that I've got it to, okay, there's nothing more I can factor out. It's now time to actually do the determinant. Okay? So... I've got the x plus y plus z. Then all I need to consider is 1 times the determinant of this smaller matrix inside. Okay, So I've got z take away y times y take away z. Take away x take away y times x take away z. So I'd probably want to expand that out. If I can spot any extra factorizations, then I will. But uh, this may be as far as I can get. So z times y. So I'll put right as yz. Then take away z squared. Then take away y squared. And then plus yz. Then I'm going to get take away x squared. I'm going to have x times minus z, so take away that, so plus xz. Then I'm going to have minus y times x, but I've got minus outside, so plus xy. And then I've got minus y times minus z, uh, so yz, but take away, so take away yz. Okay, so let's just tidy this up a little bit. So yz plus yz take away yz. Didn't spot that one. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got an xy, an xz, and a yz. Take away x squared, take away y squared, take away z squared. And that is as far as I can go. Okay, so although it looks like, oh, maybe... There's an extra bit that I can factorise in here. Really, that would have been spotted at this stage if that was the case.